Hello, what is up everybody? Um, welcome to episode 2 of our uh, Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, yeah, last time, I'm sorry the video cut out halfway through. Um, but we ended just after the whole catching tutorial, and then we caught our first Pokemon on this route. And our only Pokemon on this route, a uh, classic, named after a box of chips right next to me. Uh, which is a Spiro with Peck. Okay, so actually we're probably going to move him up to first position because we want to train him up real quick. But yeah. Uh, so today we're going to we're gonna try to keep it on track, you know. Yeah. Yesterday when I posted the video, I, I got a little off and started just spewing out a bunch of random nonsense every now and then. Just apparently I said that I'm a senior like 99 times, but you know, these things happen when you're not used to these things. Um, but yeah. <sighs> oh yeah, okay, I can't catch this area dose anyway. So this is going to be a nice amount of free XP for our boy Classic over here. He probably will hit level 4, which is going to be nice for us. It's nice having a bird, especially when we're about to go up against the, uh, the Bellsprout Tower soon, right after uh, we get through this whole section. Um, but before we do that, we're going to head up and catch another Pokemon, because there is another route right above this. Uh, a classic can handle it. But yeah, uh, so I didn't, I mean I got some feedback back, so uh, thank you guys out there that are giving back feedback. Um, I noticed my video got a few more views than I thought it would already, which is exciting I suppose. Uh, I don't want to risk the crit, so I'm going to send out Dorito for a little bit. But yeah. Um, hmm. I guess this episode, I will talk about, hmm, I will talk about what are my plans for college, I guess. Last episode, I sort of lightly brushed on the subject and said that at least planning on going to college. Um, I mentioned psychology being a major and stuff like that, but I guess for the most part, um, psychology is a major as a choice. Uh, biochem used to be on the top of my list. I mean, and I've thought about going into a few other things. I don't know. I go to a, uh, Christian school actually so I mean I've thought about going into theology or doing something sort of you know that had to do with that but I don't know it's no matter what I'm doing I'm a little scared you know I feel like I'm ready for the real world and stuff oh man that is a find indeed that is Okay, an Arcanine would be a great addition to the team. Although, his moveset probably. Oh, never mind. The Fire Fang would be the Bon Appetit. Well, the catch rate on this guy is probably going to be insane, and I'm not sure I want to hit him with a bubble. Because a bubble could just one shot him, and I'm not sure we want to risk sending out. Actually, I could heal up. We only have four Pokeballs. I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is heal up Classic. Okay. <sighs> That's disappointing, to say the least. Um, so I guess we only have one more catch before we head to the next town. And that will be in the grass right above this whole uh, or right above this little town that we were in last episode where we got our running shoes and stuff like that 
But yeah, um, I live in New York, and I am planning on going to college outside of New York. It's because New York, I don't know, I mean, of course there's great options for me and stuff like that. I mean, NYU and SU and all those different universities around and stuff like that would be great. But, eh, I don't exactly have the best of grades, I wouldn't say. Uh, as you can see, I spend most of my time playing games and stuff like that. And, no, being a bit of a uh, more sociable person as of late. And that takes me back to uh, the whole psychology thing. And also what I sort of brought up last episode of the whole, um, should this just be a thing where I try to talk about issues that I've had in my life and see if they can help anyone out. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to start putting like a notepad in front of me before I do these things, even though I was advised a little bit against that. It would be nice to have like just a... Uh, sort of lay out like a map of what I want to do every time that I'm talking and stuff like that. Hopefully this uh, video will not be cut at all. I freed up some space, so we should be all good. I'm going to buy a quick 10 Pokeballs real quick. That should do nicely for now. I might as well buy 5 potions while I'm at it. Shouldn't need anything else. <gasps> but yeah. If it were to be like a talking sort of thing, uh, trust me, I have many, many stories. Oh, we can actually catch a Pokemon up here. And we get a Volbeat. It's not the worst thing we could get. That's for sure. We have Keen Eye, so no accuracy loss for us. Okay, what are we gonna name this? Okay, I think we're gonna name it Tissue. That's the first thing I looked at when I looked away at least. Oh wow. I did not expect it to break free. Uh, let's switch in Dorito and Hypnosis it real quick and then we should be all good. Um, I hope my audio is loud enough. I know there's a little bit of a buzzing noise. I'm trying to work on that. I'm sorry, I have this $200 headset and stuff still doesn't seem to block out my laptop fan every now and then which is a little annoying but oh <sighs> man so if we can catch tissue I'm not sure exactly what we'll do him with him early on I guess we'll keep him and try to train him up and stuff like that maybe I should level up a little bit Maybe I should try to get them both to at least level 6 before I move on. Um, tissue. I don't want to over level, because with it only being the base game of Soul Silver, it shouldn't really be that difficult for us to beat the Elite Four and do all our, beat the gyms and stuff like that. We'll have to do a little bit of training later, but we don't want to over level. Now will just make things boring. We have to have a few deaths every now and then. But yeah. Um. Hmm. You know, I would make a layout for this. But I'm not sure if I exactly have the tools to do that. Hmm. But that would be a nice idea if this is something that we do end up sticking with. I mean, I am on episode two, so I am a little further than I thought I would be on this whole sticking with it thing, but people keep saying that they want to keep watching, so I guess we'll keep doing it till then. Um, heck, maybe we can finish the whole game. I don't know, it's been a while since I've finished all of Soul Silver. Soul Silver is one of those games that I keep starting and uh, quitting halfway through just because 
I get sidetracked or because the game breaks or something like that, which is very annoying. But, you know, things happen. It's the way life is. Uh, this overall is just going very smoothly. Uh, classics getting some free levels off of these bull beats. This whole route is just bull beats and classic is very set because he's getting I think we might yeah we might as well just get him up to level seven if this is okay that's a steelix yeah, that's a nice uh that's a nice target for our boy uh our boy Dorito not such not so nice of a target for uh classic find as a baby food boy I eat those Huh. I was also thinking about spicing up the background a little bit just because, I don't know, it's a little bland. But uh, if I do continue with this, I will be doing it in a different setting sort shortly. Uh, I will have to be at my dorm room in school, actually. Uh, right now, I'm not at my dorm room. Uh, I'm actually home for what is called a home leave in my school. Uh, it's basically just you go home for like a week. Um, it's not the most exciting thing in the world because you get used to living with all your friends and stuff like that. And I imagine if anybody or any of you have lived in a dorm, you know how it is. Although it is very nice to get away sometimes and not have to deal with all the stuff there. <laughs> oh, that was... Oof. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was rude. My apologies. Um. But yeah. Hopefully this episode shouldn't be too long. We only hope to go to the next town, and then we'll do Bellsprout Tower in the next episode. And then we'll keep this train rolling. We don't want to slow it down too much or anything like that, or else we won't be able to keep up with it. Uh, classic is gonna get... Play some good poison. That would really just be annoying. Okay, good. So classic is gonna get level 7 off of this, and then we can switch uh, Bulby up front, or Tissue up front, so that he can start soaking up some of that nice XP. I think he only has flash and tackle. Is that one he had? Yeah. Let's switch flash and tackle real quick so I don't have to worry about moving. Oh, I always forget why, or I always uh, forget to mention why I choose Soul Silver. I just love the sprites following you. The sprites following you is. I don't know why they ever took it out. It's honestly just. It's a. Mwah. Bon appetit. It's beautiful. Now, especially when you get into higher evolved Pokemon and stuff like that. They just look so cool following you. I love it. But yeah. And I noticed the uh, webcam seemed to lag a little bit last time I did it. I hope I can fix that in some way. Um, but you'll see. As things progress, and if I get more serious about this, things will get better. Uh, hopefully I can get a better mic. Hopefully I can do a lot of different things when it comes to doing this, if it ends up being an option for something bigger. Tissue's gonna get nice XP out of this one. Come on, a level? Aw, oh, that's fine. We are about to fight a trainer, so I'm probably not going to have a tissue fight this one, but we will see. Okay, I'm glad that didn't crash. I know when I used to play this game, it would crash there sometimes, which is very annoying. Um, I kind of like sending out Dorito, possibly getting him level 10. No, he's probably not going to level 10 off of this, but I do want to make sure that uh, Dorito stays as our mainstay for 
a while as he is our starter. And no matter what, you can never drop a starter. That's just an unwritten rule of Pokemon right there. Um, Dorito, if we can keep him for as long as we want, there's until the end of the game, hopefully. The Polyrath is one of my top ten favorite Pokemon, probably. Polyrath is just, oof, another Bon Appetit right there. Oh yeah, and I did turn on the, um, giving money to mom thing also in the last episode. Sorry, that whole last part cut out and you guys missed the rival battle and stuff like that. I know that kind of stuff is crucial, but if you're watching this, you've probably seen that stuff before. Uh, hopefully, we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff at the, when we're uh, doing this episode. With all the space cleared up, I think we should be fine. Um, but yeah notice you know I got some more some more Tyler the creator stuff on today got my, got my Wolfgang hoodie you know we're just chilling Tyler is one of my one of my more uh, favorite artists over the past five years that I've been on my hiatus from YouTube um, he, he's very uh, so, he's an out there guy, which I like a lot. I like, uh, he just speaks his mind. A lot of people in this day and age are very, uh, very afraid to speak their mind. Well, unless it's with certain people and stuff like that. I know there are certain situations where I wouldn't talk to anybody but one person about certain things. But that's not exactly what I mean by speak their mind either. And by speak their mind, I mean more of a... Well, this is a new route, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not yet. I know there's a new route up here, though. Okay. Tissue will not be able to handle a Steelix. That is 700% certain. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. By speaking your mind, I mean more of uh, not being afraid to stand up. Or what you believe in, and speak on your uh, speak on your beliefs, I should say. Which I would like to say that I have no problem doing, but I know there are certain situations where it's a little bit more difficult. And I know with me being in a situation where I've been going to the same school for four years, and pretty much everyone knows me and knows how I am and stuff like that, it does make the situation easier. But you know. Everything takes time. Um, but it's always nice to have people that you can talk to, no matter what's going on in your life and stuff like that. And, you know, there's always going to be people that stab you in the back and stuff like that. But, you know, there's like 7.3 billion, yeah, billion people in this world. It always helps when you find that sort of one person that seems to sort of click with you on a whole nother level than everyone else. It's nice. At least I believe so. I don't know. I know there are a lot of people that don't believe in stuff like that. But. I mean, trust me. I don't. I don't think I'm special. You know. I figure if there's 7.3 billion people out there in the world, there's bound to be a few that are exactly like me at least. Heck, one could be in North Korea, one could be in Cambodia, one could be in Egypt. Who knows? But there's probably someone that has my same sort of sense of humor, same sort of likes, dislikes, and all that sort of stuff. But a lot of life is just accepting, you know? And not exactly accepting that, you know, Let's say accepting that. Um, oh, we can catch this Pokemon, by the way. And it is a Persian Heggy. I would not mind a Persian one bit. Oh, uh, Fake Out. Fake Out's always nice to have. Uh, do I want to keep Tissue in? What's it gonna do? Scratch? Okay, it's it's its only move, Fake Out. 
It's only move. Okay. Oh, that's us. Come on. Okay, it has but Please don't kill us. Please don't. Okay. Okay, I am going to send out Dorito and Hypnosis to lower its catch rate. But, as I was saying, um, sort of accepting isn't just like accepting what's going on around you. But, like, what's just saying accepting as in your bag of chips falls on the floor. You sort of have to accept that it's on the floor, you know? <laughs> accepting that death is a part of life, you know, accepting that there's just a lot of variables that don't really seem to fall in line with a lot of your plans. Uh, that can be a very hard thing to do, but hey, uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, Persian is going to be... Skittles. That is our boy's Persian, our boy Persian's name. My apologies on that screen switch. I have, uh, uh, switching the screen, bind it to page down, which is right next to my keys. Oh wait, what? Did I really just type out Persian for its name? I am actually retarded. Oh boy. Okay. Skittles. Can we put Skittles in there? Yeah, we can, definitely. TT, right? Yeah. L E S. And now we welcome Skittles to the team. Skittles have anything mild in nature, down special, or up special attack, down, oh that's actually not a bad move set at all, uh, it has sleep though, which is not too nice right now, or for it to be sleeping right now is not too nice, because I would want to heal it up, but then if I send it into battle it's just gonna not really do much, so I think we'll be training him up next episode, what does the black flute do? Black Flute does... It's melody makes wild Pokemon more likely to appear. <laughs> we can also catch a Pokemon in here, by the way. Uh, where are we going to run into? What can we encounter up here? Let's go. It is a... Shield on. I've had good experiences with Bastion before. So, I could see this going well. I'm gonna switch out to Dorito and hope that a bubble doesn't Oko it. Oko being one hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you have super high defense. Let's go, my boy. And we get that slow. Wow. On an appetite, my boy. Oh, my, my. Huh. <sighs> This should be an easy catch. Having Hypnosis on Dorito is actually... It's beautiful. This should be an easy catch. Are you... I'm getting played. See? That's an exact example of the whole accepting thing. Pokemon has everything, man. Accepting that sometimes, even though you have a Pokemon at one health and you had them asleep, sometimes it, you just don't catch them. Okay. Let's hit you. Oh, this hypnosis isn't going to work. Let's hit you with. <sighs> it better not work again. If Protect were to work, but, oh, okay. Now you're just playing games with me. You're actually being s oh my gosh. Did you just get two protections twice in a row? Oof. If you're this good to me, then I will definitely appreciate you on the team. At least for now. With you only being level 2, it's going to be a little hard to get you up there. Just because all you seem to have is protecting 
tackle. Let's go. <sighs> I'm thinking about uh, changing up this channel's aspects a little bit while I'm here talking. I used to have two channels, but I realize that's just very unconventional as I'm a very small YouTuber. Yeah, I can even call myself that. So having two channels just makes things a lot more difficult for everyone else. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna post everything on here if I do end up doing Oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't believe we have another route before this before the uh city. So I don't think we should be too scared to use our Pokeballs, but I think this is gonna be my last one I'm willing to use. And I'm gonna kill him. Come on. You heard me say that and now you want to get in. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's aggravating. But we don't want to waste all our Pokeballs on Pokeballs on a level 2 shield on. <sighs> Dang. Okay, so we only have a team of four. Is this is this another route? No, it is not. So we are good. Um, what's Volbeat's health looking like? I think we're gonna... Actually, I think Volbeat should be okay against some Caterpies or whatever this guy's got. And we have an item over there that we should go and grab. But yeah, let me know what you think about posting some other content other than Pokemon. Um, basically did this whole Pokemon thing because I'm trying to get some of my friends into it. Or not exactly into it, but just make them understand why I like it and why I seem to know as much as I do about it, which is honestly in the whole spectrum of things zero, but you know. For someone that doesn't know a single thing about Pokemon, I seem like Professor Oak. But but uh, yeah. Pokemon has just been a huge part of my life. Video games in general have. So, I have no problem playing them, and apparently, I have no problem talking for half an hour, even though I thought, I thought it was going to be a lot harder to get back into this, and I thought, uh, I wasn't exactly going to be able to do this whole talking thing for half an hour to myself. But it's turning out to be a lot easier than I thought it would. Uh, I don't realize how fast the time flies by. We're almost at 28 minutes as far as I know. And I've been pretty consistently talking, even if it's about the game or about life or whatever. But yeah, we defeat this trainer, pick up some money real quick. Uh, I'm good. I'm not trying to get any guys numbers, you know, I don't, I don't exactly roll that way if you know what I'm saying. A smoke ball. Is that a smoke ball like the item? Yeah, it is. It enables the holder to flee without fail. We might actually want to equip that sooner than we may think. If we do end up using Persian, uh, I'm gonna send out Classic. I think I'm going to, before we do Bellsprout Tower, train them all up to level 11. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that off screen though, because I know nobody. Oh no, I'll do Dorito up to 11, the rest of them up to 8. So I'll get. Uh, I'll get Skittles up there, so you guys don't have to wash that. And we're ending at about an even 30 minute mark, 31 minute mark, maybe. Which is, which is comfortable. Hey, yeah, so we'll be ending at just about the 30 minute mark. Okay, we have to get the burst recorder real quick from Lyra. Don't plan on doing anything with this. Is I don't even believe I can do online stuff on an emulator. 
But yes, as we head into Ecritique City, oh no, this is Violet City. Ecritique City is a little later. I'm going to go in the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Center and heal up real quick. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys all for watching episode two of our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, I put the uh, rules to the Nuzlocke in the description of the last episode, and I will probably put them over in this one too. Um, so, as always, thank you for joining me, and if you enjoyed, leave a like or do whatever, tell me whatever criticisms or anything you have, and see you next time.